Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Sinead and today I'm sharing with you my December wrap up. So if you want to know all the books that I read in December of 2023, please stay tuned. And I am back and also if you're new to my channel, welcome if not welcome back. So I'm here to share with you my December wrap up. Like I think it was, I don't know if I read a lot like I would want it to, you know, there are some books I just didn't get to um, in time before the year was over, but I think I did a decent job, you know, just reading one book I think is, is still an accomplishment, you know, so I'm not going to put too much... <laughs> I'm like too much stress on myself about it. But anyways, so let me share with you all the books I read. So I think it was a it was definitely a fun reading month for December. I'm not gonna lie. It was very, very fun. Uh, there was some chunky books that I got to that I wanted to finish before the year was over. So I still accomplished that. So I'm gonna give, my pa give myself a pat on, the, pat on the back for that. Um, but anyway, so the first book that I read was uh, Let Us Descend by Jasmine Ward. This actually ended up on my list of the best um the best books of 2023 that I read by black, you know, that I read by black authors, authors of 2023. And I really enjoyed this book wholeheartedly. Yes, it was very hard to read at first. It was um, sometimes I had to put put the book down and step away from it because it was really heavy. Um, but I appreciated the, uh, the story and what it was told, especially with, you know, honoring your ancestors and trying to remember uh, certain things you know about like the people that have been in your life regard regarding if that was your mother your grandmother or whoever um so yeah if you haven't read this book yet I highly recommend it I believe I gave it a five or I think a five five out of five five out of five stars um I believe let me see let me double check mm -mm -mm. Let's see sorry I got my good reads up here so I gave this one Okay, so I gave it a four out of five stars, which is not bad at all. I think it was just mainly, maybe the pacing. But then again, it was, it's supposed to build you into what's happening as it, so it's like a, it builds you up. So it's going to be a slow, it's like a slow start and then it gets faster and faster when it gets closer to the end of the book. But yeah, I still really enjoyed this. So if you haven't picked it up, I highly re recommend that you do because it was really good. And so the next book that I read which I <laughs> I really enjoyed and I'm glad that I, I started uh reading the Wayward series um and that is these two books right here I already read the first book and the, this is the second and third so we have Beneath the Sugar Sky and we have Down Among the Sticks and Bones they these books are really good by Shannon McGuire like I had no idea I know a lot of people were talking about these books all the time and I know the newest book in this series comes out later on in January so I'm excited so yeah and for these books so so good some was really scary and crazy with what these kids go through um you know and their circumstances but they're really good I think you give you they give you life lessons about certain things it gives you aspects of you know looking in the lens from a children's perspective you know a child's perspective so yeah I'm really enjoy like I really enjoyed these two books and I cannot wait to continue on reading the Wayward series so these are some uh, two that I read in December the next ones that I read were manga, if you believe it or not. So with this one, the first one that I read is the second volume in A Reincarnated Witch Spells Doom. This was really good. And there's dragons in it. There's a witch. There's like a knight. Like, I love this. And, you know, I'm like, I'm loving, I'm into romance and stuff in manga. I'm trying to widen my horizons with other things of other genres and manga particularly but this one is really good if you haven't re like started this series I you know you can still catch up there's only two volumes out so and I'm not sure how long it's going to be but I'm excited and this is by Tail Yokozaro so yeah love this the next one I've been reading this series this is also another manga this is the 10th volume and that is the Apothecary Diaries <sighs> I like this and I'm trying to figure out how many volumes are going to be in this particular series because there's always something happening in each volume. There's always new things that are happening but um, if you read the other other volumes before this you will remember certain things a certain aspect that tie into this one. Um, they all tie into each other mind you and I 
I just love this. I love <laughs> the Apothecary Diaries. Like I will continue on reading this series because it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, this was the 10th volume and I'm glad that I read this. Next one is also a manga. This is a series and this is the sixth volume and that is the Dragon, the Dragon's Knight's Beloved. I'm really looking forward to the next volume because I think they're eventually going to get married, these two, the main characters. Um, but we shall see. There's dragons in it. There's knights. You know, it, it, it's just a good time. And there's romance in there as well. So, you know, had to read it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. This was really good. Like I said, this is the sixth volume. And I'm hoping in the seventh volume, there's going to be more things to come. So I'm excited for that. These next two, uh, two manga as a series i've only read the first two and that is kowloon generic romance this is volume one and this is volume two and this is just really good it's like it gives you a perspective of like the future but it also talks about the the city the kowloon walled city which was a thing i forget when um they tore it all down i don't remember the specific year but it has some historic historic like um you know vibes to it as well um, but even with the first volume, it says, Welcome to Kowloon, Wall City, a dystopian townscape where the people are brimming with nostalgia and where the past, present, and future converge. Amid the hidden emotions and extraordinary daily lives of the men and women working in its confines, a tale of romance begins to unfold to, to, for real estate agent Reiko Harari, one that feels as familiar as Kowloon itself. So I read volume one and volume two. I cannot wait to read the next ones. I think right now there's six six or seven volumes that are already out so i still need to catch up but i cannot wait i don't know when's the next time i'll read the next volume i'll probably read it maybe either um maybe march or april to be honest with you so these are some two mangas that i read and really enjoyed these next two are also manga and this is a series <laughs> and i really enjoyed this so we have volume one and volume two of the villain the villainous and the demon knight and it's definitely spicy it's <laughs> really really spicy but i really enjoyed it so for the first volume i'll just read the synopsis for this one so it says when noble woman cecilia realizes she's been reincarnated into a tome a tome game her shock is further complicated by the fact that she's the villainess what's worse she can't seem to change her fate now her engagement is broken off the heroine is harassing her and she's forced to work in a brothel where her very first customer turns out to be the debauched leader of the imperial guard lucas herps this dangerous casanova looks like he'll be the end of her until he takes her as a fiance so just with that alone you're trying to figure out what your first customer and now you're his fiance what's up has he always had a thing for you and now that you're available he's coming to you know marry you like mm -hmm. i'm trying to see what happens so yeah i read the first two volumes i'm not sure when the third volume comes out but when it does i plan on reading it <laughs> like i'm definitely gonna be reading it i will drop all the other books i'm reading and i will read that volume and then i'll continue on what i'm supposed to be reading but yeah this is really good if you haven't picked up the the series recommend it it's amazing now these next five books was <laughs> you know nothing but smut literally and uh i was budding reading this with a few of my friends especially Bree Shree reads you have elise's jira adrian from sister harlem uh, sister harlem's library um i believe mel was reading them too uh kiana was reading it I, she's still reading them so i'm really <laughs> excited to read the next five which we're going to be reading the next five um in february i believe so man okay <laughs> these books had me I I don't know what to say like I it was it was good it, I, I didn't know I would like it as much I was very skeptical and they it, it got me it got me hooked so I definitely can't wait for the next one so I read the first five books of Ice Planet Barbarians by uh Ruby Dixon I'm still trying to figure out who my favorite um couples are but since I, we haven't finished reading all the books entire entirely in the series of the ice clan barbarians i can't really make up my mind at the time but yeah we read the first five so, uh so we read ice planet barbarians you know science fiction science fiction romance so that was the first one 
And then let me see. The second one was Barbarian Alien. Uh, the third one was Barbarian Lover. <laughs> the fourth one was Barbarian Mine. And then the fifth one, which I enjoyed as well, was Barbarian's Prize. So I'm looking forward to reading the next next five, which is Barbarian's Mate. Um, you have Barbarian's Touch. You have Barbarian's Taming. You have Barbarian's Heart. And then you have Barbarian's Hope. So that's the next five that we'll be reading in February. But I enjoyed every single one of them. I gave them a high rating. The first book, I gave a four out of five stars. Second book, four out of five stars. Third book, four out of five stars. Uh, fourth one, I gave it a three out of five. And then, of course, the, the uh, fifth one, I gave a four out of um four out of five stars. So yeah, I'm excited to read the next ones. So yeah, so I read all five of those and buddy read them with all my friends. Um, and then last but not least, I read these two chunky books because I needed to finish the series because I also these were also buddy reads. Uh, so I read The Veiled Throne by Ken Liu and I read The Speaking Bones by Ken Liu and these were some chunky ones but I was determined and I made it. I finished the the series and I read both of these books in December um which was an accomplishment because people were like are you going to get these books done because look at them they are they are chunky but I was able to do it and I'm happy I was sad in the last book because I had to say goodbye to some some certain characters I had to like it was a lot especially the last one it has you going through an emotional roller coaster with the characters that you fell in love with and it was just a rough time and I was just heartbroken I'm like oh my god like no so I was going through it as I was reading especially the speaking bones I was going through it for the last book in the series it was a lot that I had to take in it sort of reminded me of when I was reading uh um the green bone uh saga our series uh, by Fonda Lee and how the last book just tore me to pieces. That's what the speaking bones did to me. It tore me to pieces. But I, I love this book. I gave it a five out of five stars and I gave uh, The Veiled Throne. I think I gave it a three out of five because it was just really slow and a lot of stuff I was like, okay, this is dragging. <laughs> but overall, I think it was a great reading month for December. I have no complaints. The only complaint that I have is that I wish I was able to read all the books that I wanted to read in December, but it's still good. I still read and I still read at least one book. You know, I gotta give myself some credit and give myself some grace. And I feel like if you're the same way where you feel like you're stressed, you're like, dang, I didn't get to it. Give yourself some grace and realize just reading one book or reading two is, a, is an accomplishment, you know? So give yourself grace. But anyway, those are all the books and manga that I read in December. It was such a fun time and I cannot wait to what 2024 has to bring. Um, but thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and staying safe and I will see y'all in the new year. Bye everyone.